Hello everyone, what's going on? My name is Iblikens. I want to thank you for watching this video. And this is the part 2 of making uh, music with Logic, making beats with Logic. In the last video we uh, we started to to make music with lot with this uh, session we're gonna make some hip hop tracks and uh, explain to you some of things that you that you do before you start making this music some uh, some tips so if you didn't saw this video please check it out but uh, nevertheless let's just uh, start let's just dive into and uh, let's just make some music all right um, in the last video we have uh, choose uh, to for logic to make for us a template with uh, already made some uh, some some synths some sounds for us uh, some presets some standard presets of logic pro which is kind of nice uh, you can do the same if you want to have some inspiration you know it's nice to have that all right so um let's just uh, let's just make some music and this and this video we're gonna make some hip hop music but of course you can uh, you have uh, you can just implement same same uh, same thing if you're using if you want to make some other beats it's it's just an idea all right so this uh, the first three tracks are our uh, drum tracks all right there's the first one heavy hip hop kids the f second one techno hip hop techno and then down tempo techno and then you have where you can imp uh, insert your sample if you have any so let's just uh, let's just uh, listen to and uh, get an idea how the sound so this obviously our kick and then snap other snap Claps on the snare, then you have your tones, then you have your hi hats. Alright, so let's just make something, let's just do something. Alright, I'm gonna just like five, uh, four bars, and uh, BPM is alright, 90. So uh, whenever you wanna, whenever you wanna make me, whenever you're gonna make music, and you you're not uh, sure what you're gonna do and and some days you just miss the inspiration you can just follow the standard uh, procedure of making music and that being um, uh, and and that is actually um, you start with your drums and then you go to bass and then you go to melody but other days if you have inspiration of course you can do some other stuff for example starting with your melodies if you have some melody in your head and you want to do that so that's a nice thing and uh, uh, talking about melodies the, uh, the nice thing about that is if you start with your melodies is that you build your music around that melody that make it really nice uh, that that's actually the way really that's actually the way the the really legend songs have been built songs like um, you know, like uh, like really well-known songs have been built around the melody, because melody is that what gets you. You know, the melody is you know it's it's sticking you, it stick in your head, and and that that's that's the melody. So that's really important if you have inspiration for your melody, and you want to make that because sometimes you have inspiration in your mind, but you don't know how you can put it to the music you know so don't give up just keep moving on keep doing it no matter if you have to be doing like two days three days i know people who m make music f they, they are busy like four days only for the hi-hat yes only for the hi-hat they are busy for four days to make an hi-hat sound right sound right groove and stuff so that's really important All right in this video we're gonna make music i'm gonna show you what the groove <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna show you what the grooves mean, what uh, what you can do with them, what the important things about that. I'm gonna show you the standard things. This is actually really important for you to follow follow along with this video, because the standard um, way of making music is the way of music that mostly you do. Because not every day you have the inspiration, not every day you have the wrong sound, right sound. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow this standard procedure. You're gonna uh, in that way you're gonna build your own and uh, uh, um, 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 training 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 and the days that you have inspiration you're gonna implement those things that you have learned from it to your uh, your song your masterpiece <laughs> all right so let's make some music so first thing what I'm gonna do I want I wanted to record my uh, kick all right so what we're gonna do 
is um, let me just move my keyboard so so I can use my MIDI player and what I want to do is you, you just go on uh, you're just gonna go on a record but I have my MIDI controller so I can just uh, do it from my MIDI controller if you don't have a MIDI controller it's alright you can just do it with, uh, with the mouse of course you're gonna go on record and uh, let's make some music alright Right, that's my kick. Okay, now this uh, I did actually this I did on purpose because I want to show you the standard post do you start with your kick, you then go to your snare, then you go to hi hat. But it's not really nice way to make music because but uh, because uh, the groove of the music, the feeling of the music is everything. So if you're gonna make that one by one, sorry. If you wanna make, if you wanna do that one, and then and then move on to snare and then move on to hi hat, you 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 kind of lose the groove. So what nice is is that you do all of them together. You know what I mean? Something like uh, you play the the, uh, the whole drum together. And the way you can do that is is you have to try to to make uh, to use your to make yourself use the metronome and 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 uh, play to the metronome and that's something you have to train for that's not going to be for the first day you have to train for and 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 that's 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 really nice uh, way to make your music because that's going to give you the groove of making music uh, and 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 first instance so so uh, this, so if you're gonna go for the if you wanna if you if you're gonna go for the standard one so the one kick and then snare and then the other one you can of course and if you wanna go for the groove that you play everything the whole drum uh, in, in one instance th that's of course also a choice but uh, I'm gonna show you the both way I just gonna do that really fast so for people who are familiar with making music that I'm gonna be bored for. Alright, so we have make our uh, kick, now we're gonna go for our snare. Alright, that was our snare. After snare, of course, we're gonna go for hi-hat. We do the same. Let me choose a hi-hat. Yeah, I think this one is right. All right. All right. And the thing uh, was that I don't know if you had, if you heard in it, but uh, the the groove of the uh, the groove uh, the quantized groove of the hi hat wasn't really on on on, on the beat, and that's because the latency latency is basically the 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 time that it take from moment that you press a key on your keyboard on MIDI player to the moment that you hear that sound. That's the delay. That's the the latency that you hear, and uh, the latent you can put your latency of course for your sound card. And the way you do that is, you know, uh, every way you see IQ buffer size, that is your delay, that's your uh, latency. I have mine, and uh, one, uh, 128, that's, that's basically uh, normally really nice, but now I'm capturing my screen, so it's going to take a little bit more. Um, but and if, I'm, if I'm lowering that, the, the latency basically goes away, but it's going to put my system on a lot of pressure and uh, because of that you're gonna hear some uh, cracks and some some unwanted sound in your music so you really have to uh, adjust that before you record your music and now in this way in this instance we have been working with MIDI so we didn't have mixed down our sound yet but if you mix down your sound before you do that you want to check your latency always check your latency check if you hear not, nothing uh, crazy and, uh, and 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 then you're gonna go for your uh, mix down and uh, by the way you know this is your uh, your um, 
back end of Logic. Here you can put all your uh, installation for how Logic perform. And uh, I have made uh, a video about this. So if you have any question about it, if you want to know things that you can do with it, I suggest go watch that video. But maybe later on I'm going a little deeper in that. We can uh, hear, uh, we can see how that works. All right, now we have our uh, now we have our drum. We have made our drum. Of course, the last one, this uh, the hi hat, was not really on time, and that wasn't really what we had planned but uh, we can just quantize it we can uh, we can see if that can solve our uh, problem so to speak All right so what you can do any 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 time you want to quantize a sound and you can select everything like this or whenever you just click on a note it's like automatic of course if you want to select to the beat just uh, go for the 16 or 24 and then you will see that everything being quantized to the beat and of course things go for our uh, for our uh, oh, uh, close high uh, open high hats and uh, let's just hear how everything sounds Right, very basic uh, hip hop uh, um, drums. Right now, as you saw, whenever I click on 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 our on our track, I only see my hi hat. But what is my rest of my track? You don't see it because you have to merge them together. Whenever you merge them of glue, I mean, so uh, then you're gonna see all your tracks together. Now this has to do it, so let's just go back, select our, this is by the way your tools, whenever you want to select other tools, you can do that. Alright, this is our, this is our track, and mostly uh, uh, Logic uh, cuts the first note of whatever you record. Uh, so th that's something you have to keep in mind whenever you do that you have the sitting that you can uh, change that but I didn't so that's why it has moved the first uh, delete the first note that I have playing for my uh, for my bass or for my ki uh, kick I mean sorry right so let's hear it again Right, the last one I would like to put one more half bit hat and this one I'm gonna move up to so it's gonna sound something like this. And what you also can do in case you you want to have it on, on the end of each ball, you can just select it and then copy it and you put it just like that and one uh, other nice thing which what you can do with uh, with uh, with your drums is that you can duplicate your snare tracks because that's gonna give it nice effect and um, sometimes they use two snare but you can use also a snare and a clap together that's gonna sound like this now they uh, are claps kind of come the the our uh, snare so I'm gonna I'm gonna move that a little bit down uh, 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 the 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 level of your clap of my clap and the way you can do that is basically like this if you slack everything oh that was not what I meant if you go up to here you have a tool that got velocity if you select that you can just bring the level of your your of your sound down so let's do that so let's go for something like that okay. Okay, now much less this is by the way if you want to 
uh, automate your MIDI or your audio you can do that here you have the uh, many options like volume the panorama bla bla blends and uh, um, balance I mean modulation breadth and everything you need pitch band everything's here so you can automate that that it kind of do it but uh, I, I, I never do that because if I'm if I'm uh, if I need something I just record it you know I just do that with my MIDI controller but one nice thing about logic is the hyper editor this is really nice uh, nice way of automating your sound because this is gonna make it you know just just glue everything together make a really tight sound that's really nice stuff for example if you wanna uh, pan something you the only thing you have to do is you just you just select it and you see if you wanna you have it on a, on a on a note or you just wanna have it like this it's really fast way to 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 do that that's nice I'm gonna undo that. I have other videos that have uh, uh, tips and tricks with logic that's gonna show all those stuff to you. <coughs> that's a really nice one. Now, uh, I've, of course, uh, grooves uh, in the grooves uh, video, we're gonna much deeper in this. I'm gonna show you how you can make your drum sounding really catchy and nice. And uh, so stick for that, uh, stick around and come back for that video. Uh, I do have to stop this videos because if, if it's too long, I can just uh, upload it to YouTube. By the way, you see my, my pen setting has to be to the right. That's because what we just did with, uh, with the hyper editor. Sometimes if you change something, it's gonna, you do have to do it manually. You have to bring it back. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right. So uh, next thing what we want to do is of course our uh, our base. You're gonna go find your own base, find a base that you sound that you like. And uh, let's 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 go let's just go for that. All right. I'm gonna do that really fast so we have time to do other videos as well. really basic base nothing special let's delete that one let's go to our base it looks fine we can quantize it if you like and one thing uh, important with the base is that base and your kick almost uh, have the same frequency spectrum frequency uh, low end so whenever you have a base and you your kick you do have to do something to to make them fit together and that's one of those things that you do have to uh, find your own style with it but I'm uh, mostly what I do is uh, whenever my, uh, my kick whenever my kick hit so if I'm go so if, uh, if whenever I um, uh, whenever I uh, whenever I have a base uh, with my uh, with my uh, with, uh, with my kick, uh, what I'm do is I just bring everything a little bit back. All right. Whenever you do that, it's gonna uh, the kick uh, the snappiness of the kick gonna through, and the release of the bass gonna come after, and that gonna give you much more room to. Uh, space to play with another thing what you can do of course I'm gonna go deep in that in the groove that's basically is the groove those kind of tricks what you can use to make your sound fit together another thing what you can do is you can uh, EQ the, uh, the bass to give room to kick but in case you want to give more room to uh, to your bass you of course do, do you can do that as well so if we One thing you can do, you can uh, to make the bass more, much more tighter. You can uh, choose for a really steep, uh, steep Q and something maybe around 20. Yeah, that will be nice. 
right and let me just bring that back all right let's just hear here that's just gonna make the kick much more uh, the bass much more uh, tighter you can bring that up of course to give more room to the but that's gonna just cut off all your low end and that's something you don't want to do with hip hop tracks but uh, for the 20 and um, something like 25 maybe 30 that's something you do can do other thing what you want to do is you want to you can um, use uh, sure you want to just take something about uh, 2 to 50 maybe 2 some of that muddiness of the sound that's just something you don't need with the bass what you what uh, what I usually do if I'm not have time to just uh, fine tweak it and just go for something like that you know and that's mostly it work mostly it work but if I am time of course I'm gonna go and uh, for that what I'm take at <coughs> sorry uh, and you can put it something back for the for the for the bass and you can for example go for let's say 1200 something like that you can give it a little bit of boost there of course the bass doesn't need the and, and one other nice trick is whenever you want to put your bass uh, down you know whenever bass hit and you have some kind of tracks you hear it and the bass is really low you know if you want to bring your bass lower than the rest of the tracks only thing you, you have to do is uh, you kind of select your um, let's see if I have one more band no I have not alright it doesn't matter are we going to use this one for it uh, whenever you want to do that you just go around 5k and you bring it down and that's gonna make the bass go go down go uh, behind the rest of tracks I'm just gonna do it over good so, so you can hear it It's gonna give much more room and it's gonna make the because you have to make everything fit together you know you have the spectrum this is all place you have from 20 up to 20k that's all place you have so everything has has own own place in the spectrum and that's something I'm gonna show you of course in the in the mix down uh, and mix um, videos and mastering videos that's also really important that you that you watch that videos uh, basically what I'm uh, what I'm doing is I make complete uh, video series about everything that you need to know whenever you're gonna make music so uh, I suggest you keep watching these videos and uh, learn I hope that you learn much from it I know you're gonna learn much uh, really really enough to make your own style and that's just my aim that's that's my goal to help you make your own style because that is uh, one of really important things to do and those days that everybody use same samples same uh, tools same stuff we do have to have own style own sound own uh, own way of making music all right so um in next in next video we're gonna go ahead and then move on to the next section and that will be to produce to make some melody for a track to uh to maybe uh, we're gonna go for some crazy effect using abusing <laughs> and uh and 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 then we move on from there i'm gonna show you some little tips and tricks and from now on we're gonna move on to the next section maybe we're gonna go for the mixing or we're gonna go for the, the plugins because those two videos are in uh, next uh, next series what i'm gonna do all right i want to thank you for watching this video in case you don't have time to come back for the next and you come now 
uh, you have to do, uh, you have to work or something, uh, please subscribe to my channel. So whenever, so whenever I put a video out, it's gonna come directly to you. You don't have to come back for it if you forget. It's gonna do it automatically. And I'm planning to make videos, uh, two, two or three videos a day. Basically, this is the only thing I'm doing right now. I really like doing it. So, uh, so please subscribe to my channel if you have any question no matter what under this video i have uh, provided you with the links to my uh, to my website uh, you, you can follow them and no matter uh, to which website you go the contact uh, form in there it's gonna come directly to me i'm the only one who uh, uh, read the uh, read the uh, emails and stuff so you can use that um, um, I hope this video has been uh, useful to you. I hope that, that they help you make your own style of sound. I hope that you learn a lot for them. In case you have any question, please don't hesitate. Contact me. Thank you for watching this video. And we're going to move on to the next video. So you, you can come, come along with us. Or I'm going to see you next time. Alright. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.